Spotify, you amazing artists. Most people have the idea that us artists get into a studio and create flawless work from like beginning to end. Like magic just sprays out of our brushes and lands on the canvas perfectly. And sometimes that can happen. But mostly it's like walking into a dark forest of bad decisions and insecurity and stepping in a big fat pile of that looks like crap. Then you've got that looks like crap all over your shoe and then you've got to rinse it off. <laughs> now I'm not saying that all artists are tortured and that they're fighting with the canvas. For example, when Picasso created La Demoiselle d'Avignon. That one. It is said that he smoked a lot of cigarettes, got really, really angry, fought with the canvas. In fact, so bad that like he had to be left alone just so he wouldn't like explode on anybody. But you know, really it was Spain back in the day before there was air conditioning. Although I think back in the day there was this like masculine man movement where you had like Jackson Pollock like, I'm a cowboy artist and pew. Like pew. Pew. <laughs> <laughs> I think people associate success as an artist with talent. This could give people the idea that a talented artist just floats into the studio and everything works out perfectly for them without even having to do anything. It takes away from the fact that they put a lot of work into developing their craft. I think this could be really discouraging to young artists that are trying to meet that standard and when they mess something up, they may easily think, oh, well, I'm not talented enough. You start setting yourself up for unrealistic expectations. The truth is that, like, you gotta work at it. And I'm not saying that people aren't talented, but I do think that you could have that talent, but you do really have to develop that. And basically it's years and years and years of making things that look super crappy and then you know, then you have years where you make cool looking shit. Most of our crappiest work gets thrown away or hidden away somewhere where nobody will ever see it. So of course the stuff that you see is like the top notch thing. So to you, it could look like somebody just poos creative gold nuggets. If you're an artist, you are going to have flaws in your work. True, you're gonna poo some poo nuggets. You're gonna poo some poo nuggets. They won't be gold nuggets. Nope. They'll be poo nights. You may be really awesome at creating a specific thing, but if you're anything like me, you like to play around and experiment with different mediums and different concepts and push yourself a little bit outside of your comfort zone. And see, it's that's fun for me, pushing myself outside of my comfort zone where I have no choice but to create something that sucks so terrible that my only option is to burn it and hide my shame. See, it's fun for me because I understand the steps that take place during creativity, so I don't set myself up for insecurity or, you know, self-criticism. So for any of you aspiring artists or old curmudgeons... Especially for you curmudgeons. Oh, curmudgeons. Gotta love them. Here are the 10 steps of Rafi's version of the creative process. Step one. Start working on a piece. This is where you're designing a concept or coming up with an idea for something and might sketch it out on the canvas or on a piece of paper. Yeah, and if you're like me, you look at that sketch and you think, oh. <laughs> well, I mean, that's why you're a jeweler. You know, you're a different kind of artist. If I was a jewelry sketcher, yeah. then I'd be out of business. <laughs> Step two. Get started. Now this is where you actually get started on it. Like you stop thinking about it and you start putting paint to canvas or whatever it is that you do. Not mean eat a bag of Cheetos while you stare at said project. It doesn't count. No. Step three, you evaluate work and it's looking like it's getting there. By this point, things are looking pretty good. I mean, they usually do. Step four, evaluate again. Things are not looking so good. This is around the time where things start to take a turn in your creative process. Step five, try to make it look better, but it gets worse. Yep. Step six, try to fix it and then make it look like total crap. This is the point in the creative process where you are going to want to quit you're going to become insecure, you're going to compare yourself to other artists while you feel like you're sitting there vomiting talentless tripe onto your canvas. This is where talent comes in. It's actually working on a piece when you think 
that there is no way that you're going to be able to achieve something. You just stick with it. So in step six, just don't give up. That's the thing. Don't allow yourself to give up. Step seven, take a quick breather. Walk around, stretch your legs, do something. Take yourself away from the canvas and clear your mind. Now, don't allow yourself to get comfortable because at this point, it's really easy for you to talk yourself out of going back and working on your project. Step eight, reevaluate and change things up a bit and rework areas that you want to improve. Take a look at what you have. You know, maybe you could change the direction that you're heading in. Either way, just kind of relax and see if you could look at the piece through a new perspective. If you feel like you need to start over, go ahead and start over. But I would recommend just sticking with that piece through till the end. You've already messed it up, so you can't do anything worse to it, really. Step 9. Things are looking slightly better. Keep going. At this point, you're seeing small improvements because you decided to stick with it and move forward. Step number 10. Give it a day. Check before you finish and sign the piece. If you look at the piece and you're like, wow, this is awesome, then that's it. Sign it. You're done. If you look at it and you feel like mm, something is a little bit off, then just tweak it. Have you ever wondered why it is that like the old masters or certain artists take like a year to complete a piece or like six months to complete like a small portrait. That's all it is. It's just a bunch of tweaking, little movements here and there, just changing little things, you know, moving an eyeball up because they were asymmetrical. And if you are working on something and it's not looking perfect, well, duh, you got to work at it. So get in there and allow yourself to just suck royally at this piece and then just keep moving it's not done until you decide that it's done well i hope you guys found this helpful if you like this video give me a thumbs up and also if you have any questions about art or life in general just leave them in the comment section below you may not like my answer but i mean i'm not apologizing about it me neither thank you so much you guys you guys are absolutely freaking amazing i totally adore you and if you like this video and you'd like to watch more just click over here to subscribe to my channel and if you want to watch our last video you click right over here and that's it be creative don't give up say goodbye clee good day adios